Christina Perez. Austin Adams and Devin Henry are suing Rodney Connors and Josh Bluestone in the amount of $5,000. The co-plaintiffs claim Mr. Connors and Mr. Bluestone crashed their fraternity party and caused significant damage to the house. The co-defendants claim they weren't the only uninvited guests and say it's not their fault the co-plaintiffs couldn't control their own party. So, uh, Mr. Adams, Mr. Henry, I understand you are suing for damage uh, that you believe they are responsible for to your fraternity house. Is that correct? Absolutely. All right, what do they do? Well, um, Your Honor, well, just trying to give you some background of us um, so we know. Uh, we're fraternity here at, uh, or at uh, Syracuse, and we hold ourselves to a high standard. Uh, we do everything professionally. We do everything right. Uh, we try to buy, buy all rules, and um, we got this, this reputation amongst campus as the goody guys or the goody frat. We're, we're doing everything the way we should. So, um, okay. essentially, you know, we had this party. It's homecoming weekend. We had this party just like every other frat and fraternity sororities out there. We're all having our parties, and there's not invitations, so we're not like, it's not like a list that we say, hey, you're invited, you're not. So it's pretty much open and word to mouth. So if you hear about it, come on down. If not, you're not going to be there. So it's one of those type of parties. And our landlord is really good with us. We do buy it by him. We've been there already now for three years. We've been in the frat for four. So we, uh, we let him know, hey, we're throwing a party. We always let him know, just so he ha he's on the up and up about what's going on. Um, so we let him know, hey, we're throwing a party. He's OK with it. Because like I said, we follow all our rules. We do what we're supposed to Are do. Are you guys on fraternity row, or is the house a little bit outside of campus? It's a little bit outside of campus. Um, we're in a suburban suburban area. Um, so aren't the, all the fraternities and sororities near each other? Um, in, a, in a radius. They're about five miles out, so forth. OK. So. All right. So all right. So go ahead. You had a party this night. Mm -hmm. um, you have a capacity. What's your capacity? Our capacity, our max capacity is 70. But we don't we don't push the envelope. We keep it at like 60. We don't try to try to do it. We but what do you mean by max it. capacity? Like you mm -hmm. only allow people in in the living room, the dining room, outside in the backyard, in the front yard. What do you mean by 70? In the living room, we have a living. So you room. only you have a fraternity yep. party and have a party for people in the living room only. Exactly. Nobody can go to anybody's room. Nobody nah. can go to the kitchen. Nobody can go outside. Uh, usually, where the parties are held, nothing. No. Only in the living room. Only in the living room. You must be the only fraternity in the world that has a party exactly. in the living room. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we try to keep it that way, like I said, yeah. because a lot of... So what do you guys do? Have a tea party? I mean... No. We, we just try to keep it to a minimum. We don't want to get have the party go out of hand. We've been doing this for about three and a half years now. We're seniors so now. So that's how you do your socials. Yes. You yes. invite people mm. and have a party in the living room. Yes. That's it. Yes. Right. You do your corner off the rest of the house so people know. Yes. I mean, is this like a known thing on campus that they only have a party in the living room? No, that's not, that's not true at all. That's not They're true nerds. They have nerd parties, that's why. So what? That might be the best party on campus. You never know. So yeah, I imagine you two are part of another fraternity. Yes, we are. OK. And um, what's your role in this? Uh, we were, after our party got shut down, we were. Why'd your party get shut down? Uh, there were so many. Some girl jumped out the window into the like front yard. Really? Did she get hurt? Yeah, the Did ambulance the came. Come? Yeah, ambulance police came and then they shut down and then they, you know that's when they shut down. But it was my boy. So jumped. they shut down your party completely. Yeah. Did uh, at that moment when your house is shut down and a girl got injured or a student got injured, what's your thought? What What's your next thought that you do? Life goes on. To the next party. Yeah. Okay. What do you do next? It's my, it was my boy Josh's birthday, mm -hmm. just tournament night, and I was like, we're not going to go to sleep. So I got in us an Uber four or five miles, um, you know, down the street, and we, we knew this guy. We see them on campus, you know, they're the two shortest guys on campus. So we go to, we go to the party, and then they're having this party, and then we go there, and then they're saying, oh, we hyped, like, 50 people to rush into the house. That's not true. All right, we, so then... Are you friends with each other? Well, we're kind of friends. No, like we're friends. not friends. We're acquaintances. We're not friends. You're acquaintances. All right, so then what happens, Mr. Adams and Mr. Henry? Well, so, um, so like I said, so we got our guys at the front door, and we do rotation. So our shift brothers, they switch with us. We got two other brothers, they switch. And um, to man so the doors. So you switch to, oh, to man, man the doors. Man the doors, okay. yeah. So we, we're monitoring who's coming in, making sure they're age, of age to drink. And they're also doing head counts. So not only are they saying, OK, very yeah, you, you're good. Yeah, very. So they're doing head count. So that's how we know we're at our capacity. 
Okay. So we get our 60 people inside and we're like, hey, that's it. Around this time, now it's, it's, it's around 1 o'clock because we do our shift changes at 1 o'clock. So now it's 1 o'clock. The guys are already shut it off. There's nobody else coming in. So then uh, me and Austin, we come up to the door because now it's our shift turn. So now we're standing up, manning the doors, and then we see these guys outside the parking lot. Now, mind you, it's people still trying to come over to the party because a lot of other parties has been getting shut down. And that's why we haven't been getting shut down because we're not outside. Our, our neighbors never call the cops on us. Mm. That reputation is not there with us. So okay. people pretty much know once your party gets shut down, you know their party is still going. But again, we still have a capacity. So, so you are the cool kids on campus. Yeah, the so smart we, ones. Yeah. Coming up on Justice for All. They told you guys can't come in because it's to capacity. How did you guys react? I was a little upset. Uh, Why I, would you be upset? It's not your party. No, I, but we was been there before. Great, and, go yeah, somewhere else, go to a bar. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Austin Adams and Devin Henry, who are suing Rodney Connors and Josh Bluestone for property damage. So then you see uh, Mr. Bluestone and Mr. Connors come up to the house, and they want to come into the party. It's around 1 o'clock. Um, you've known them before, you've seen them on campus, they've been at your house before. Do you allow them in? No, ma'am. Why not? No, ma'am, because we're at that capacity. It's, even though it's just, it started off, hey, man, it's just us. Because Josh, I mean, we've seen him before, we've talked to him before, he's came to our party. So we're a little cool with him. We're not friends, um, but he's came to our party before. Um, he's more of a respectable person, so it's easier to get along with him. Um, with Josh. So, with Josh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so, they come up, he's like, man, you know, I've been here before. He tried to finagle his way back in, but we're like, man, we're at capacity. We let you in, and the people behind you are going to see that we let you in. They're going to try to come up here and get in, too. Yeah, you but can't But that's do it. it. Okay. So, uh, and respectable. We're not, and his buddy is outraged. He's like, nah, man, we drove out. We all the way out here. We go, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get in. We're going to get in. And with his attitude, he's hyping up the people outside. Now, the people are already leaving and How walking away. How many people are outside waiting? There are about 50 people already, yeah. like in the streets. They're in the streets. They're not like oh, in front of the park. Oh, they're in the streets. They're not yeah. in front of your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the streets. So he, these two, you two are the only guys waiting to go into their house? No. no. We weren't the only people right in front of their house. Not everyone was in the streets. There were a lot of people that uh, did get turned away that were walking out. They were still maybe leaving or coming in mm -hmm. to the front porch area mm -hmm. uh, trying to see if they can get in. Okay. We weren't the only two. How much had you two had to drink? Uh, I I wasn't incredibly intoxicated. I've had I, at that point maybe four or five beers. And you? Tipsy. What's tipsy? Do you remember the night? Do you remember everything that happened? I remember a little bit, but all I know, Your Honor, is that I do not control other people's behavior. He okay, I'm not asking you that. I'm asking if you were tipsy. So tipsy, you're saying that you remember some of the stuff in the night, yeah, right? Yeah, I remember most of it, but I do remember I was... We some wasn't of it the, or most of it? I remember, you just changed your tune. I, I remember most of it. Okay, but all I, right. So you two were waiting. They told you guys can't come in because it's to capacity. How did you guys react? Uh, well, I was a little upset. Uh, Why I, would you be upset? It's not your party. No, I, but... We've it was been birthday. there before. Great, and, go somewhere know, else, go to a bar. Uh, go to another fraternity house. Okay? And if somebody says you can't come into my house, that means you can't come into my house. Period. If they say, sorry, I'm into capacity, that doesn't mean just because you're in the Greek system you have a right to walk into their fraternity house. No, you don't. So when he told you, you guys can't come in, what you needed to do is m turn your little selves around and walk away. Which so we why did. did you why did you not walk away? What happened? Obviously not because they said you entered their house. Fifty people. We we saw fifty people walking towards the house and we just followed them. So we no. you know what I'm saying. We did not tell <laughs> the people right, to get so in. So what happened, uh, Mr. Adams and Mr. Henry? So when we told them to go away, they were of course upset um, and they started telling people, oh, they won't let us in. Um, you started egging people, egging on? people on, mm -hmm. and kind of getting people you know flustered up and. Um, started um, I can see that getting people riled up and, and um, started pushing people towards the front um, and mind you it's just the two of us and we're, mm -hmm. we're men in the door um, and um, it's about 50 plus people you know and that's all bum rushing the front door we couldn't really hold back 50 plus people where it's only the two of us so um, 
they trespassed, basically. So essentially what happened, you're saying no, they're yeah. egging everybody they're egging on, everybody on. And what yes. happens, people just push you aside? Yeah, push us aside. And, and I mean, do people start yelling? I yes. imagine it must have been a scene. Because we had already told the people that, um, that we couldn't let anybody else in. They had already walked away, but when they came up and we told them they couldn't come in, uh, they started telling everybody else, oh, forget this, we need to, we're just gonna go inside, whatever, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And people started, you know, of course, following them. Um, so Mr. Bluestone would at, was at his best, right? Yes. Egging people on. All right. Yes. What else happened? Uh, once they started coming. What about Mr. Connors? Was he also doing that? Um, we're not yeah. dictators, Your Honor. Okay. We're just was he was he also doing that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. He was he was the most outrage, actually. He was he was the one like hyping it up. He's, yeah. You can see him right now. We're not. I mean. Okay. Imagine yeah, after imagine, drinking, yeah. he's coming to the party as people are leaving, and some people are still coming up because they don't know. Yep. So people are coming up, people are leaving, and there's people out in the streets. So now, as he, they come up, he think he got clout. So he comes up, says, you know, hey, um, let me I, get I in, let me it. get so in. So they, like, no. they rushed in, and So what he's happened? hyping the crowd, everybody's hyping up. Now he's hyping up, hey, man, let's go, man, we can get in here, we can get in here, forget that. So now we got him, he was like six, seven over here, and obviously, like he stated before, yeah. which is obvious, we're not that yeah. tall, not that big. So he comes in, rushing, like, forget that, we're coming in. And then he just pushes the door. Now we're already, we're already like at the door. So he like pushes the door and everybody else just follows him in. And we're, and then that's that. And now they're all inside the house. Your Honor. And what happened? I, I need so to, about they're, they're 10, suing so, you, so I need to know what happened. So once damage. everybody came through the door, about 10 to 15 minutes in, um, the, the, the floor uh, cracked. And um, it, the, the floor of the, um, the living room started to tilt to the side. And once it tilted to the side, then everybody kind of started to run out, um, and everybody left after that. And we were kind of left with the damages um, to go from there. And once we got everything quoted, um, it came up to around 5000 Coming up on Justice for All. You got jumping up and down. You got uh, people moving here and there, trying to dance. Do you so think if um, uh, Mr. Bluestone and Mr. Connors were not there, the people would not have entered? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. It's a lie. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Austin Adams and Devin Henry, who are suing Rodney Connors and Josh Bluestone for property damage. So you're saying that a crowd of like 60 people damaged the floor? Oh, no, it 60 was, a, was what it yeah, was before. It's probably, I would say, about 120, something like that, because we had already had about 60 people in there already. And okay. with the extra people who came in there, it's about 120, 110, yes. All right, so, but I need to understand how Mr. Bluestone and Mr. Connors are specifically responsible for that damage. They, they're the ones who trespassed and brought all of these other people with them. Okay. Um, and which ended up and resulted in us um, having all these damages with our, our, our flooring. Okay. Was it okay to have people over? Was yes. the floor in danger? Yes. So I guess what I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not understanding is how did 50, 60 people ruin the floor to cause a, such a significant amount of damage? Well, it was the reason why was because we had a least uh, our, our capacity of the house anyway is 70 people. So once they raided the house with their uh, with their other posse with the rest of the people outside, that brings it up to 100 like 15 people so far there. So mm -hmm. with them jumping up and down with the partying, like I said, it was only like 15 10 minutes before it happened. Yeah. So as they're jumping up and down, they're still trying to get irate and uh, enjoying their whatever they're doing. The floor cracks. The house so you got jumping old. up and down. You got jumping up and down. You got um, people moving here and there, trying to dance. Do you so think? Do you think if um, uh, Mr. Bluestone and Mr. Connors were not there, the people would not have entered? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a lie. Coming up. You were already tipsy. You don't remember what happened that night. You act people on and you, and that's what happened, and they come in. So it's my fault people went into their party? I think that you had a lot to do with it. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Austin Adams and Devin Henry, who are suing Rodney Connors and Josh Bluestone for property damage. Anything else that you guys have to say? Any defense yeah, um, to yourselves? In regards to uh, that we were egging people on, that accusation, no, we, uh, we weren't. They told us we couldn't get in. It, we did get a little bit upset, but as we were walking away... A little bit upset? Uh, yeah, just, you know, just, we want to party. And you started egging people on? No, I, I didn't egg people on. I, I was joking. You started egging people on. No, he I, made a I, joke. I said, he I made a joke. It was a joke. He said, oh, let's all rush in. But you were tipsy, and you started egging people on. 
Your Honor, the house is super is built in 1920s. It doesn't matter. I don't care when the house was built in 1920s. My house is built in 1920s. It doesn't matter when the house was built. You're at an age where it's no accountability. You're better than somebody else. You feel entitled, and you have absolutely no respect. And you almost feel like you're better than the nerds. It says a lot to me. So I put two and two together. They have a party. They're the cool dudes on campus. Maybe you're just a little jealous you're not like them. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> they have a party. You had a party, you want to continue partying, you get, your party gets turned down instead of staying home and figuring out what we did we did wrong. A girl just fell out of our balcony, sit down with my brothers and figure out how do we improve our image, what do we do? No, you don't think about that because you're entitled, have no respect, think that, that you're everybody else and you have no accountability. So you decide to go keep partying just because it's your birthday. They tell you you can't come in and no, because you have no respect, you're entitled, you have no accountability and you think you're better than everybody else, you're like, absolutely not. You need to let me get into your house. And I could see exactly what happened, as if I were there. You were already tipsy. You don't remember what happened that night. You act people on and you, and that's what happened, and they come in. So it's my fault people went into their party? I think that you had a lot to do with it, because that type of character carries a lot of weight when people are acting stupid. <laughs> it's easy to follow somebody like that. And if that hurts, well, then change it. Judge Perez's verdict when Justice for All returns. How do I pinpoint the damage? Where are the other 118 people? Bingo. Do that only proves my point even more. I, I want absolutely no words from you. Renard, if they say one word, please escort them out. I uh, sure will. Just one word. The problem is, as I was saying, is that how can I attribute $5,000 to them? I would like to. I really would like to, but I can't. Has this been fixed already? Um, <laughs> as soon as we could receive. Do you have to raise money for this as a fraternity? What do you need to do? Yes, ma'am. It looks like we are going to have to do um, raise some money, um, probably put on some car washes, do what we got to do. Um, like I said, we are responsible. We don't want to leave. Bad, bad messages in our uh, landlord's mind. All right, okay. So, so this is what I do. can do. I can award you a type of pun punitive damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Mr. Bluestone and Mr. Connors and some of his fraternity brothers help you for at least three car washes, okay? And the money that you make will go directly to your fund. If they do not comply, I will make them reimburse you. Understood, gentlemen? Yes, You're allowed to speak now. Yes, understood? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The co-defendants have been ordered to help with a car wash fundraiser. We didn't get the money, but I hope you learned your lesson. We're going to work it off. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.